The McElroy brothers are not experts, and their advice should never be followed. Travis insists he's a sexpert, but if there's a degree on his wall, I haven't seen it. Also, this show isn't for kids, which I mention only so the babies out there will know how cool they are for listening. What's up, you cool baby? One, two, three, four. It's the start of something beautiful. A small acquaintance has blossomed and ripened into a precious friendship. It feels like life. Ah, it's better, it's better with you. My life. Ah, it's better, it's better with you. This is true. Ah, it's better, it's better with two. My life. Ah, it's better with you. Hello, everybody. Welcome, my brother, my brother, me, an advice show for the modern era. I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy. And I'm noted intellectual and middlest brother, Travis McElroy. And I'm Griffin. Um, I McElroy. Uh, a s- <laughs> little bit of a, right? There's a delay, I think. A little bit of a delay. A little lag on um, I wanted to uh, play a new game I invented. Good. For you guys. And I'm. I am pretty good at inventing games, and I was like, this one was like just whatever, um, until it congealed last night for me. I'll tell you how. Cool. Uh, So this game is called Simply the Guests, and I'm going to take you inside a celebrity podcast, (laughs) and you are going to tell me who the host of the podcast is. Okay. Okay. From me giving you the guests. Can I just say to the title, a touching tribute. What do you mean? To Tina to Travis's bit. No, Tina Turner passed yesterday. She did? Oh. Yeah. This is Dad didn't text me, so I didn't find out about it. That's sort of my Yeah, so thinking about Tina Turner really helped me to come up with the name for this. It's Good. called Simply the Guests. Good. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah man. I only have one round then- today. <laughs> so this is sort of a mini pilot version of Simply the Guests. Um, You're assuming that this will take uh, a lot less time than I think it's going to take. A little pitch Are pilot. you ready? Yeah, let's go. Yes. Okay, the first guest on this podcast, Billy Ray Cyrus. Are you going to tell us the name of the podcast? No, that's what we have to guess. No, I can't. No, no, no. You have to guess the host. Host, based on the the guest. And then the bonus extra credit will be for um, the name of the podcast. Let me ask you a question before we get any deeper into Simply the Guests. How how feasible is this? Is this a game where we can take the data that you give us, goosh it around in Uh our mind cavity, and then- Can I say to you? Yeah. If your third eye- is fully open. Okay. It will be an absolute breeze. If you are half paying attention, I give you even odds. But I think the two of you together absolutely it is can doable. Guess, it's, can okay, because sometimes Justin, when I bring a game to the table, uh it the difficulty level is like first time you fight Sephiroth and you're supposed to lose and then you like wake up at a different kind right. of scene like level. That. Okay, no. great. What I'm saying is if your heads are on a fucking swivel, okay. this is a big brick of marble and every single one of these names will be a piece that you're chipping away until you're left only with this person. Okay, okay I'm ready. ready. Billy Ray okay. Cyrus first is the first guest, guest ever, Billy Ray Cyrus. First guest ever on the show. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm reading to you the guests in order, unedited. That is this, extremely helpful information. Thank you for clearing that up, Travis. Yes. Okay. John Carter Cash. It's the second one. That is the son of yeah. Johnny and June. Uh, Billy Bush. Okay. Albert Pujols. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, my head's on a swivel, but it's hurt. It's hurting my neck, me, okay. to do to go around. 
Okay, okay, okay. Adam Carolla. <clears throat> does that help? It doesn't. It hurts. Huh. Okay. Clint Black. Okay. Is there a reason why there's so many country music? Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. That's like, that's maybe a macro that you could put a pin in. Okay. Like, hey, here's the next guest. Is Gary Busey? So Phil. Okay, is the host Blake Shelton? No, not Blake oh, Shelton. Okay. And and what okay, this is the most natural, obviously, the Buse, and then you have Katie Couric. <laughs> Whoa, okay. That that gets rid of a lot of my guesses, actually. It starts to chop away the base. It chops huh? it chops the list a lot. Cause I was starting to think like, you know, early Sorbo. But I, I don't think Katie would go on Sorbo. You're like, you're like, okay, you're like Griffin. Yeah. You're doing good. <laughs> Can I say you're both doing good? See, I'm thinking, what's the crossroads between country music and cinema? Okay, I'm afraid we're gonna have to give it. This will give it up soon, but we're gonna keep. We're gonna keep moving. Okay. Okay. Doctor Drew. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor <laughs> Drew. Bud, Katie Kirk, Gary Busey, Katie Kirk, Doctor Dr. Drew. Drew. Okay, Here's wait. What you can say about this person. Big tent. A big yeah, tent. Just a big right? open mind. This is outside of the information you've agreed to give us, so you don't have to say yes or no here. Would we agree to be on this podcast? If it asked? doesn't, it does not fucking sound like it. I think I like to think we'd have a nice long talk about it. How's that? Oh, With the like, host of the think podcast. Think okay. About it. Okay. I am, okay. I am, I'm feeling good. I have an answer that feels good. You have, we have. Can can you say what it is, Griffin? Can I say what my guess is? Yeah, do you want to guess? I'm thinking of online. Wait, wait, wait. What? Okay. Online, uh -huh. somewhat conservative leaning movie stars. Mm -hmm. I think it's fucking Randy Quaid. Um, here is let me finish the list. We've have like four more guests, okay? Your reaction makes me think it's not Randy Quaid. Uh Sh Sharon Stone. Is after Dr. Drew. Okay. Interesting. Dr. Drew Sharon Stone. And here we're ending the, these are, we're coming up in the last five episodes of this podcast that exist. Okay. Okay. Is it ongoing, this podcast? Oh, that's a good question, too. Is it no, still rocking? It did one season at the same time. Everybody else did a podcast. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Uh, Martin Short. Oh, my God. Interesting. I'm way off. Mike Lindell, the My Pillow guy. Oh wow! What? I'm back to Randy Quaid. <laughs> I'm back Jim on Randy Brown. Baby. Say that last one again. Jim Brown, Hall of Famer Jim Brown, and the last guest in in this podcast history, Anthony Fauci. What the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, man. Is Dr. Drew and Anthony Fauci on the same season. My pillow guy and Anthony Fauci separated by two episodes. Okay. W when when did the My Pillow Guy episode come out? Cuz we were all swept up in My Pillow Guy fever when My Pillow Guy first sort of jumped out. The on episode the scene. is called My Pillow Guy Mike Lindell on addiction, pillows and receiving God's message. Huh. <laughs> Travis, if you would like to request one episode title from any of the celebs mentioned, yeah, yeah, ooh, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. provide that to oh, you now that in mine? fairness. Okay, what? that's fair. No, okay. no, no. I, you've introduced the idea, so you get another one. If there's a if there's a celeb where you'd like to hear the angle they're coming at it from. from. I want to hear the Sharon Stone title. Interest. That was a that's Sharon a great Stone choice. on pandemics, social justice movements, and animal actors. Interesting. <sighs> Uh, I, I, here's the thing: is that I want to know Albert Pujols, but I don't think the information you will be know helpful. Albert I I want to know Albert Pujols' description, but I don't think it will be helpful for the for the solution to the crime that we're trying to solve. Um, um I'll say I want. Mm, God, jeez, yeah. This is uh, you know what? Let's Albert go first. Pujols, Albert Pujols may help. Okay, Albert Pujols then. Albert Pujols on baseball. Down syndrome and living the American dream. Baseball. Hmm, why was there another baseball player on the list? There was a football player on the list. Mm. Um Jim Brown was a footballman, right? Yeah. All right. Um 
Now, Here's let's also not lose sight of all the country music stars in the beginning. Okay, can I? Okay, that's I, fair. Uh, I skipped. Jimmy Morris is another uh, baseball player that has been on the show. Interesting. And that's helpful in some way. I did not say that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give you, one more. You guess. asked about baseball. I skipped him because I don't know who that is, and I didn't okay, think he'd be okay. very useful. I didn't want to. I got confuse it. things. But but he's another baseball player. You guys need to talk to each other. I, That's podcast. Travis. If if it's not Randy, Qua- who is who is Randy Quaid adjacent? I don't. Th- it's not like it's. it's it ain't problem. Sorbo. It ain't fucking Randy uh, Travis. I think has recently expressed some stuff. And Rand, who's, I don't even know who Randy Travis country, is. Country singer. Okay. Country music's Randy Travis. Wait, okay. not Travis Tritt. I might be thinking of Travis Tritt. No, you're thinking of Randy Travis Tritt, their son. <laughs> their yeah. son that they had together. See, I'm still doing a podcast. You guys, you got to do a podcast with me. Come I'm on. trying to. I got to look. Griffin, you just, froze, you just froze in the most thoughtful possible expression. It's amazing. I got to look um, up my Travises. No, okay. I'm thinking of Travis Tritt. Justin, can you at least tell me, am I going down the correct path? If I've, I'm walking down a path called Randy Quaid. Am I walking down a, a true and correct path, or am I way fucking yeah, off base? Yeah, yeah, you're not, you're not in the wilderness. You're, Could it be Dennis like Quaid? It. Dennis Quaid, I feel like, has a strong connection Ooh, to baseball. And yeah. Christ. <laughs> and I'm going to say Dennis Quaid. Final answer. Final answer, Griffin? I think Travis has got it. It's Dennis Quaid. Yeah. Now, stop. Name the show. Here's the here's the bonus to Dennis Quaid. It is a pun. A Dennis his, a Dennis pun? A Dennis pun. The Dennis office. No. <laughs> okay, Grit, keep talking. The Dennis office. The uh, Dennis office is no. The Travis that Griffin did bad. What do you got? It doesn't have to be funny or clever. Because it's not ours. We're just trying to guess Yeah, at yeah, it. yeah. I'm trying Chip to- Chip away. Dennis something. It's something with Dennis. It's something with Dennis. So it's not like Quaid And Quaid I will now. say, I will warn you about this. It fucking hits. And when it Shit. hits, you're going to- You will be like, yeah, that's the best one. <laughs> you guys found it. De- Dennis the- It's not Dennis the Menace. It's not Dennis the Menace. No. Dennis- Oh, there's just not that many words that sound like Dennis. It's the Dennis chair. One word. One word. The Dennis One chair. Word. One word. The first half is Dennis. <laughs> is it? Is it Dennisons? It's the Dennisons. <laughs> That, that's it. Name. That is it. The name of the oh, podcast man. is the Dennisons. That, that is it. I that mean, does, yeah, that's fuck. good. That's we can't good. speak to the. Let's fuck. say this. To protect ourselves, Griffin, you started. You started when you started saying Randy Quaid. In my head, I was like, I felt like Dennis was like Kaiser Soze, like blending in behind him. Like I forget about Dennis's leanings sometimes. That's Dennis's whole. Well, here, this guest list is it's wild. It runs the gamut. Has to be the most diverse crowd of like. And Justin, (laughs) you weren't wrong. If we got an email from Dennis Quaid being like, come on our show, I think we our, talk about our news on reaction will be, I don't know, man. <laughs> he was in Frequency. That film slaps ass. He was in Frequency? That um, baseball player, by the way, was the rookie. <laughs> was, the, yeah. was who that was. Yeah. Um, and I thought Martin Short would, would when you said Randy Quaid, and then I said Martin Short right after, I thought you were going to make that leap to Dennis. But people forget about Dennis. Well, people forget. Well. When I think for a long time, time people forgot about Randy, and then Randy was like, "How do I come screaming in here in such a way that I'm gonna overshot?" You know what? I've got it. No, but Randy. Randy is like a a, a a a zucchini you left in the bottom drawer. Without our attention, he has grown fetid and wild. Yeah, and sure. We, we must. Just, He's we, built uh, his we, own ecosystem around <laughs> himself down there in this. I'm in this part of the CRISPR. Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, this is an advice show. My advice is to Dennis. Um, keep it back, up. Keep it up. Get back in the game. I guess. Uh, you did that one when everybody else did one. Hey, uh, by the way, do you know that there's two other Quaid siblings? Fuck off. No fuck way. Off. I kind of want to do it. Yeah, Brandy oh, Quaid. God. It can't be that. It is. That's Brandy? that's not it. And Say buddy, a different name. And Buddy Quaid. 
It's Brandon Quaid sounds like if he was cast in a remake of Some Like It Hot, that would be like his his character. Now, name oh, I see. Quaid, Brandy laziest. Quaid is a stepsister. Okay, that actually makes more sense. Weirdly, that you wouldn't arrive at that uh, uh, naturally. I think is uh, is very encouraging. My boyfriend and I were looking for a bar before your Columbus Taz show and walked by one that looked empty and not like our vibe, but it had tinted windows, so it was hard to tell. We walked to another bar and inside the door person flagged us down and said someone was looking for us. We were already inside this other bar when the woman who was working at the first bar said she saw us looking in and said, please come into my bar. We have cheaper drinks. Get out. No. Mm Mm-mm. We were confused and start, startled and decided to stay at the bar we were already at. But we weren't sure if we regretted it because this person went through the effort to chase us down half a block, cross the busy street, went through a revolving door to get to us. Also, the drinks at the bar were expensive. Should we have gone back to the other bar instead? Uh, That's from Confused you in should, Columbus. You should not <sighs> have gone back to the other bar. Let's answer that right now. Um, One, Justin. You were pursued. You... Uh, and you know what? Even removing any like, oh, it's a trap kind of feeling. If you go in there, the owner of this bar, the person working, there is so little business that they can leave the bar yeah. to pursue you. There's going to be so much focus on you, the singular customer. You. you don't but want this could, that. That could crash. be good, though. That could be good. Because what if like this business, this young entrepreneur has some stories. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm that's, always that's I'm how always I feel like, about young entrepreneurs. Talk to me more. I'm always just waiting for the next entrepreneur to tell me the big cool story at a business uh or party that I go to. And this is an opportunity. I it may not be a very good story. But that they are going to be focusing completely on you. You're not going to have to wait for drinks. In fact, I bet you could probably get those bad boys for a dime and a song if you really wanted to. Um, you say this, it's either this or no business, I guess. Uh, you hold a tremendous amount you of power. You can negotiate. People yeah. don't do that at bars. And yeah. Don't do that. Don't, That's don't negotiate. Job. Don't negotiate no. now, about but drinks. I would also ask, in reading this question, it seems to me that the person design, whoever has done the bar design uh branding has done a poor enough job that this isn't the first time this person's done this right the idea that it's like today's the day the next person who looks in this window i'm yeah. gonna get him this yeah. is this is something they have had to do yeah i don't like i don't care for that it's it, the, the story that you're gonna get from this young business person is very exciting and could be anything could be like war or like a celebrity or like you know any kind of cool crime stuff. like yeah, any kind of cool, yeah, cool story crime like that stuff. um but their windows on this bar are so tinted that you cannot see into them and i don't like being in any kind of enclosed space where that's true i want all, yeah. i want all eyes on me outside yeah. for accountability purposes and security purposes if someone's like where was the last place you saw him i need someone to be like it was like 20 minutes ago yeah. over there in this big window yeah he was on display for everybody and he kept his hand up against the window Mm-hmm. And like every so often would move and hold up today's newspaper. It was yep. very helpful. I I do like though, if I owned a customer based business, I do like the move of like if I had a restaurant next to another restaurant and I saw somebody go in that restaurant of walking in there and walking up to him like, hey, before you order, my food is cheaper. Um, are you yeah. certain you don't want and hey, this bread is fine? My bread? I put now, way more in the basket for here's you. Here's what I'll say. Tom Green did do this. Um, he got to this first. He used, and on his television show, he had a thing called Undercutters, where he would travel around with a, t- <laughs> it's pretty good, travel around with a tackle box of toppings and a crust. And then as the person is going to the door <laughs> to, to, to get their pizza, he would open his and make the pizza they had and try to sell it for less to them and leave the other guy that's out of the cold. That's very good. And that didn't catch on because I kind of th- felt like he might Shark Tank that if it was yeah effective. He probably, probably he probably would have called it Shark Tank though because he's he he's got, got that shark tank. humor and yeah, yeah it's kind of yeah, South Park man, great very irrelevant. Um, um man, I reverend don't... is what I meant to say, and I feel like <laughs> I might have <laughs> didn't mean to drag Tom. Is irreverent, Ir- not irreverent. <laughs> 
there, he's clearly relevant. I just talked about him. There he's is great uh, in Austin on Sixth uh, Street. There's just all bars, and they they have to compete for foot traffic so much that basically every bar has a a, a sentry posted outside who is handing out flyers and yelling Flying. and trying to get you to come in. And I can't. That energy sucks for me so bad. I mm-hmm. get is people on their grind, but it's anytime it's an avenue of broken dreams. Anytime I walk down six, and I'm like, no, I. Mm, that doesn't quite seem. Mm, it seems nice, but the windows I'm are to get to the GameStop. If you guys could just <laughs> let me, excuse me. Um, Why don't you just? This person should be advertising on the outside that they have the competitive advantage in a specifically hyper local sense. Like the sign outside should say "cheapest drinks on the half block." Yeah, on yeah. this half of the block, this is the cheapest drinks. I would like to, Griffin. Mm. I'm looking for. Uh, some big investors, some real angel investors. I'm gonna okay. buy. Why am I gonna crack at this beautiful egg? You know what I mean, man. Hey, well, we'll see, Justin. We'll see how uh, how competitive the video Sorry. Work gets. It may, maybe your crypto shit's gonna pay off s- someday. There. I don't have crypto. Shit. I want to buy. <laughs> Unless I've been eating <laughs> cyber <laughs> salsa. <tacos>. Yeah. <laughs> it's cyber salsa and crypt tacos, and then I do sometimes get. Crack. It shits. You know what Superman hates cleaning up? Well, I'll tell you, it's crypto shits. Yeah, I guess. Hey, did we ever talk about how, okay, the thing that kills Superman is also what he named his dog. Okay, okay. so. <laughs> um, That's pretty good, Trav. I want to buy up a line of those bars on 6th Avenue. Okay, but then the I'm going to knock down, whatever, I'm going to knock down the dividing walls, but keep all the facades the same. That kicks ass, Travis. You are you are basically pitching a, like, exiting a Disney Park turbo store mm-hmm. where it's just one half mile long corridor of shops, 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 shops with, like, basically the same shit in exactly. all of them. So that way you can go into the entrance of which everyone feels like your vibe, but then inside... It's all pretty much the same bar. That's fucking great. A little, like a little Mars bar of yes. just different, different experiences. That's really good, Trav. This is the, this is what Disney does, right? Outside the thing, it'll say crystal shop, enter here. Yeah. And next door, it's like framed photos. And then you go in, it's just like, here's Mickey's balls on his shirt. Fuck you. It's all the same. It's shirt. all the same shit. Um, you want some good, hey, we let Goofy make sour balls. No, do want, he, they do don't some? do those anymore. What? They don't do those anymore. They don't do the goofy sour balls. They don't anymore? do goofy sour. Listen, that was the only confection oh, that man, that mouse that and his business has ever created that I was like deeply into. And then Goofy took his sour balls away. He okay, washed there them. is only one way you could know that, and that is if you went to someone who is employed by the mouse. It was like, "What's up?" With sour I said, balls? "Where's Goofy's sour balls?" And they said, "We don't do those anymore." <laughs> People were saying too much rude stuff about it, <laughs> and him, Goofy got and upset. Him. They said, "Why are your balls so little, Goofy?" They said that to Goofy. No, <laughs> the hero, to the George hero, Geef? <laughs> George Geef. They George would go to him and himself. say, "Your balls are so small. Your and balls so, are little so and sour. sour. Wash so your little sour. balls. <laughs> Wash your little balls, Goof." Gooster. And he'd be like, wash these? And they'd be like, these what? And he'd be like, these nuts, get out of my fucking house. <laughs> but then they would be like, we were already talking about testicles goofy. You can't these nuts that. Gorsh. Gorsh, <laughs> yeah. Get the fuck out Gorsh. of here. Gorsh. Um, <laughs> you guys want another question? Yeah, I feel like Travis was going to do a Shark Tank bit, but forgot about it, and that's fine. <laughs> no, I said, <laughs> I said, I, was, good, I, I want to knock down the walls between the bars. That was it. Oh, okay, right, right, I got I you. I need six billion dollars, please. Right. I'm enrolled <laughs> I'm enrolled in summer college courses. In one of my classes, a guy in front of me likes to stretch backwards over his chair with his eyes closed. His head basically ends up right on my desk and he will breathe in my face. I had oh ah I've had to move my laptop to stop him from laying on it. Am I the weird one for staring at the guy as he disrupts all my belongings in my personal space? He does it more than five times a class. It's very awkward. It makes it hard to focus on the lecture. Should I say something? Help me, brothers. How do I stop this stretching bandit from stealing my peace of mind? That's from Cramp College Co-ed in Canada. Very good. Um, hey, I got, I got, I got a way you can fix this yeah. real quick. You get your laptop, close it up, 
open up a quick jar. Just get a quick jar. Uh oh. Smear a whole bunch of jelly on it. On, on your desk? desk? On your desk. Ooh, yeah. You I smear guess... a whole bunch of jelly on your desk. Sort of a double edged sword, though. Bubba on leans one. back. Bubba leans back. Yeah. <laughs> oops, 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 oops. Is that jelly? Yeah. Never does it again. Game, set, match. You gotta, you gotta, I mean, this person's obviously crossing some pretty literal and figurative emotional social boundaries. Unthinkable. Unthinkable and tenable. Unthinkable. Um, but, I mean, if you wanted to deal with the problem, just a quick, like, cha-cha-cha, just give them a quick, like, obviously they're having some upper back, neck, shoulder Sorry, issues. Give them, like... The Give them like a little, cho- like a a good, a helpful chop. Don't attack them. I'm not saying to hurt them and attack them, but like obviously some shits out of alignment. Um, oh, they need a chiropractic adjustment. Is what you're saying. Or Give just them like a surprise chiropractic or, adjustment. No, don't do that. But like Theraguns akimbo, get in there and like get into those those knots and those muscles, and then so, like just to clarify. So far, the options we've offered yeah. cover your desk and jelly. Yeah. Um. Come at them with uh, some surprise therapy. Not, yeah. we have not offered saying, excuse me, you're kind of in my space if you could not do that anymore. That's out. That's out. That's out. That's wrong. Yeah, okay. that, we can't do that. because the, And the only reason, Travis, is that it's not very funny and it doesn't give us very much room to play with. And what if, and I think the, the obvious concern for all of us is that if you said that, and this person said, you're nothing, and you're not funny, and no one likes you. Oh, man. And then it's like, they see right through you. Then you, you got to drop out of one. college, yeah. Then you exactly. have to quit college and 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 never talk to anybody ever again. Okay, so if that's the case, then bunch of broken glass in the jelly. Justin, Just let's open up. Travis, what? Do, this person is in pain. This person's in pain. You need to get dual percussive massagers and, and help your fellow oh, person. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Another thing you do is when they lean back, hover over them and say, there's my sweet boy. Oh, that's a that could be kiss, kiss on the forehead. Probably not a little <laughs> no, kiss on no, the forehead. No, no, we're not going to. We're not just going to randomly kiss somebody. Oh, no, no, you're no. right. No. Little close. Okay. What little if close? It, Maybe you. This is a good opportunity for you to teach him about consent. Uh, oh, you know that's I mean? cool. Like, you do not have my permission to get up in my DMZ. That's my desk militarized zone. Okay. That's where I have all these little toy soldiers here. And jelly. And what I could have done, I could have kissed you, but I won't. Here's a sticker on your forehead instead. Think about it. Of a kiss. Oh, yeah. A here's sticker a, of a here's kiss. Here's a Hershey kiss on your forehead. Oh, no, I've incentivized the leaning back. Please don't yeah, do that anymore. Good. No, that's a, gr- that's a gold star. Dang it. Damn it. Maybe when, now you start leaning forward to stretch and see if you can time it out. So you're going back and forth until everybody's doing it. What's that? It's the wave. You're welcome. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. That, here's one thing that I feel like gets lost in the shuffle sometimes with my brother, my brother, and me. If you did all these things, the problem would cease to be. Yeah. Yeah. This would fix the problem, right? Like, this one's solved. Like, you do all these things, this isn't a problem anymore. We've got, like, a 100% success rate if our advice is implemented. Holistic. What we don't talk about is the percentage of the consequence rate, oh, which yeah, can well, sometimes yeah. far exceed, far, far, far exceed Listen, the original We problems. don't give tactical advice. No. 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 Consequences, go to the Denison's. You want consequence free? Come here. We Do you think Justin Come here or Randy the- Quaid's podcast that he probably does, probably called consequence free, the Randy no, Quaid it's story. Called, it's called the Denison's. Yeah. <laughs> the Denison's too. The, the Randy sauce. The yeah. It's, the Randy, it's called Randy sauce. It's, it's called it's called Randy McDowell. It's yeah. Just, it's called Randy from Toy Story. <laughs> um okay. <laughs> it's called Randy's Mints. And he just yeah. lays out his yeah. little bomb mots for you. That's cool. He needs to stop changing the title though, because it's getting hard to search <laughs> he for it. it every every episode. time he thinks of a different Randy-based pun, he's like, oh <laughs> fuck yeah. What about like the Randy Bowl? And someone's like, what does that mean? And they're like, Candy Bowl. Candy Bowl. Randy, I think that's what oh, you already changed. Okay. Yep. All right. Yankee Doodle Randy? No, you already did that podcast <sighs> back in ninety-nine. Wow. After these messages, we'll be right back. Let's go to the money zone. Woo! It's better. It's better with you. Listen, Justin. Yeah, Griff. 
Well, no. Hmm. <laughs> Justin, I didn't have the window open. Okay. Okay. And you can't tell our voices apart. That's good. That's yeah, cool. Big reveal. Okay. Big twist. Now listen, Justin. You know you've got symptoms. You know you do. And you don't have anyone you could talk to about them. My back's aching. Griffin, we're not talking about your symptoms right now. I I wouldn't even begin to know where to start yeah, categorizing. I just my back's aching. The sun's too bright. My hips popping from left to right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, left, uh-huh. right, left, right, left, right, left, right. My back hurts. My feet stink, and I don't peanut love butter Jesus. in a cup. We sing this song to pump us up. Bang bang, choo choo train. Come on, Travis, do that thing. And so, Listen, yeah, what? yeah, I was told to do that thing, Justin. If you'll check uh, the stenographer's <laughs> notes. <laughs> I believe that I was the one. Commerce does not bow to having to do that thing. I was specifically handed the ability to do that thing. And then you stepped in. You started doing the thing, which had become my thing. Yeah. Well, my thing was doing the podcast for money. Oh, yeah. And I love I actually like Justin's thing way better. Yeah, you do your thing. thing now. Okay. I will tell you that it is tough to find a doctor that's a great fit for you. And that can lead to you trying to diagnose yourself on the internet. It's a whole thing. You're going down there like, well, I sometimes my left leg does it. She's like, well, you may be a redneck. (laughs) 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 My neck is really red. Well, you just might be a redneck. (laughs) ZocDoc is a place you can turn to. They'll help you find uh, the perfect doctor for you. It's the only free app that lets you find and book doctors who are patient reviewed, take your insurance, are available when you need them, and treat almost every condition under the sun. I have used ZocDoc a lot since moving to DC because we had to find all new doctors, and there nobody else has a good way <laughs> of booking appointments, even at their own practice. Uh, and and ZocDoc is pretty much the best in the game at, uh, at, at not pretty much, it's definitely the best in the it game is. at finding doctors and appointments, period. Go to, Zoc, go to ZocDoc.com. Zo, go to Zoc... You got this. You got go this, to ZocDoc. <laughs> go to ZocDoc.com nope. slash my brother. Nope. And da- no, nope. companies love it when you say their name over and over and over again. That's yeah, what they're paying but they, for. they also love it when you say it right and not ZocDoc. Go to ZocDoc.com. Slash my brother to download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's Z O C D O C dot com slash my brother. ZocDoc.com slash my brother. It was poetry, Justin. You probably already have a favorite animal. Maybe it's a powerful apex predator like the tiger or a cute and cuddly panda. And those are great. But have you considered something a little more unconventional? Could I perhaps interest you in the Greenland shark, which can live for nearly 400 years? Or maybe the jewel wasp who performs brain surgery on cockroaches to control their minds? On Just the Zoo of Us, we review animals by giving them ratings out of 10 in the categories of effectiveness, ingenuity, and aesthetics. Listen with friends and family of all ages to find your new favorite animal with Just the Zoo of Us on MaximumFun.org or wherever you get podcasts. I'm Jordan Cruciola, the host of Feeling Seen, where we talk about the movie characters that make us feel seen. And I'm the show's producer, Marissa. Jordan, you've interviewed so many directors, actors, writers, film critics, and I like to play this little game where I take a sip of coffee every time someone says, that's such a great question. That's such a fabulous question. Or they tell you how smart you are. I think that you are rather brilliant. And of course, the big one is... When, when they, they cry, cry unexpectedly. unexpectedly, yes, yes. Jordan, I don't want to cry on your podcast. I wasn't expecting to <laughs> cry. I mean, it makes me kind of want to cry. Ah. Feeling Seen comes out every Thursday on MaximumFun.org. Listen already. What are you waiting for? Jordan, that's such a great question. <laughs> yeah. May we approach the wizards, Mike? We may. This I like is, that, girlfriend. This is the Wizard of the Cloud bit, where we go to WikiHow. Um... And our friend Joe sent this in. Thanks, Joe. Biden. Oh, not Joe oh Biden. wow. That's it was a real Joe who sent this in. Not okay. a, but not like the fake made up Joe Biden. <laughs> right. Right. Um, this is a real Joe. This is an average Joe. You don't know. I that. wouldn't say that. Okay. Above average. This Joe. is how to talk nerdy to someone. Oh boy. Oh, yeah. Talk nerdy to me is a play on the phrase talk dirty to me. But how do you actually do it? 
If you want to impress the cute nerd in your science class or woo the geek in your life, speaking their nerdy love language is a good place to start. To help you be more adorkable, we've gone a deep dive into the world of geekery. Read on for a crash course in nerd speak. (laughs) Oh my God, all of this hurts. Yeah, strap in, fellas, because there's some cool shit. Number one, science and physics. Are you a carbon sample? Because I definitely want to date you. If you've seen the Big Bang Theory, then you already know science and physics nerds are the best nerds. What? Science and physics nerds are the best nerds. Is that you have to distinguish the pickup lines from the like narration here? Because I it seems indistinguishable. Sorry, me. sorry. It, every one of these opens with, I guess, the best pickup line in the category. Are you a carbon okay. sample? Because I definitely want to date you. Can I Fuck also just it. say, uh, I love the premise of this entire article, which yeah. is, oh, if you want to talk dirty slash pick up, a, a nerd person. Well, you can't use regular means because as no. we all know, uh, people who like nerd shit hate like nerd shit. Hate any reference to romance or sex or uh, yes. anything like that. You gotta talk to them in their language. Their if language. you can just quote Rocky, quote Big Bang <laughs> Theory. <laughs> all right. Um, there's some more. None of I've got a theory good. that we should Big Bang. <laughs> What do you think? Okay, that's, that's, that's good. actually pretty good. Charles. That's good. What do you think? Okay, that's, that's, that's good. actually pretty good. Charles. That's good. Um, mathematics is cool. You've got more curves than a triple inter, 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 integral. Integer? Come on, inter- man. In- Can math be dot 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 sexy? Well, fuck Judging yeah. Look wealth. at an eight, man. Look at yeah. Look, look at, at an eight. eight. Um, look at it. Eight's really the only one. Oh, pretty close minded. Yeah. yeah. My love is like 88. a- 88. Hey. Hey, okay. 69. Sounds like a busy night for me, right? There's a lot of eights in there. I can't be any more eights than this. Uh, try plugging one of these solutions into their equation. My love is like a fractal. It goes on forever. Are you the square root of two? Because I feel irrational around you. That's that. Some of these, we that's gotta not, recognize it. That sounds like a threat, actually. Uh, I feel irrational. I feel, you make me feel like I could do anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, outer space. You mind if my comet enters your solar system? No. Nope. Let's take a pause. Let's take a Let's beat. Not. Let's take a cleansing breath here. Wiki <laughs> how. Um, that one didn't feel right. You, you have when you typed it. You had the whole no pun intended, like universe of heavenly bodies references. Yeah, yeah, the whole space and you space went pants. with <laughs> like yeah. There's some. There is some. You guys have established there are some pre pre established pre written outer space themed pickup lines that are out there already. And I feel like everybody knows a few of them. Mind if my comet enters your solar system? So, such a misjudgment of taste. Of taste, of of, of astronomy. Uh, norms. I, yeah. Of norms, social norms. When you're doing a punny pickup line or something like that, you need to know in your own mind exactly what the words are referencing. Even, even if it's a pun. And here's the thing, you guys. That can only mean like one, maybe two things and saying, do you mind if? <laughs> do you mind? Do you mind? <laughs> um, uh, one of those space ones is, hey, nice asteroids. Nope. What's that even? Technology. This place must have free Wi-Fi because I'm feeling a connection. Not terrible. Damn Not it, Wiki How. Not terrible. You shouldn't. You can unzip my files anytime. Now, once again, just even putting unzip in there. Okay. That's what does our, that even mean? I mean, but unzip yeah, my yeah, files. But like, you can open up my genitalia. I think <laughs> it's, you, I think files is referring to a zone. Okay. A zone. Okay. Uh, gotcha. I, another one of these that I don't hate. You're even hotter than the bottom of my laptop. That one's actually kind of got some heat, I feel like, yeah. no pun intended. Yeah, that one works. I'm, I'm like, you're hotter than the bottom of my laptop, and yeah, I am sterile. Thank you for Thank that. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Listen, very I- Very intuitive. I own a early, early Alienware laptop. Yeah. It's a scorched wasteland down there. The built-in fan burned out, full of burned cat out. hair. I, I, Overclocked. I, I wasn't getting enough- uh, uh, polygons in my in my doom. I went back to that guy. Said, "Make me a Kindle down there. I just want <laughs> flatten me out, baby. <laughs> burn it out." Um. Chum- all right, how, it's time to get into video games. And you guys, I know, are crazy about these fucking things. Fuck yeah, dude. Uh, Heck yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. And this is where we really start to get into some good shit, like really okay. h- kind of hot shit. 
uh, honestly. Your beauty rivals the graphics of Call of Duty. Now, oh, wow. Is that a game? You guys are both uh, big, big game bros, big game yeah, hunters. It's a game. It is a game, yes. Is it a game known for its graphics fidelity? It's known for the, like when people are like, "Oh, if you want to talk about graphics, got Call you of Duty." Have, you have, I mean, you've hoved in the maybe the least, the smallest problem with this. And yeah. Yes, Call of Duty is a is a showpiece. Oh, a great showpiece. Then there's no problems sure. with this pickup line whatsoever. No, it's good. I'm no. glad we clarified that, Travis. Yeah. yeah. Kind um. of good graphics. For sure. Um, I mean, Call of Duty also is tr- f- kind of infamous for its updates are like huge, like half a terabyte, and it just like clogs up your computer. So you could say something like your beauty rivals the sheer mass of the file size of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 r- remake yeah. from 2021. Um, if you uh, want to get to the next level with a gamer, you have to get their attention first. Hey! 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 Hey, time to game. Tetris. Consider, <laughs> considering how focused they can be on their game. That's easier said than done. Shut the foot. Don't talk. Not you now. Love, you love me. <laughs> <laughs> um, give one of these silly lines a try. You and me, tomorrow, my fort. If they don't know. If they don't know. Wait. If they think that's like a totally, <laughs> just like an end A thing small for building. Us. That you? you that you made in a in a yard, maybe out of blankets even. Um, I don't think that that one would work on anyone. I need experience points. Will you help me out? Yes. Bonk. Now I've I took I, now I have your horns and I can sell these back to the warrior guild master. Okay. Once again, hey, just to uh, let's decipher that pun. What you're saying is I'm bad at sex. <laughs> I'm bad could, at it. If you could help me it. get a little bit better, I man, I'd appreciate any any tips you've got. Um, I'll bonk. I'll bonk it as many rats as you got. Yeah, what, just tell just me, man. A few tips. <laughs> um, Want to go on a side quest to the bedroom? It's not the main quest. It's not the main quest. The main quest is a search for purity in the eyes of Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> <laughs> and a side quest that we're doing that may or may not advance that particular goal is you and me making tender love. And if yeah. you want to get, we can get distracted just by collectibles that aren't necessarily a quest. If nope. we want to just get tacos later, <laughs> that's not that won't advance the story in any way whatsoever. But they're good. Uh, l- listen, here's what you do: you go in, you disrobe in front of your partner, and say, "Dang, I wish this game had photo mode." Because I would love to have, be taking pictures and video of you right now. Now, hold on. You said you disrobe, so you're naked. You both disrobe. You both disrobe. Okay. It would be weird to have the person disrobe, you just met each other, and they know you're a gamer, and you won't disrobe. What are you hiding? Gamer thumb? No, but I do gamer love abs? the idea, Justin, of looking at your partner and be like, hey, um, will you come in here and disrobe with me? Because I want to say something <laughs> to you. And it really <laughs> important joke. to say. It would be, if you did it clothed, it's a nightmare. You have to be fully vulnerable. It's a naked moment. Like, yeah. you have to be Well, then why not you present. just throw up and walk in and be like, I wish you were taking photos and videos of me right now. I really wish That's we could. That's self-aggrandizing, Travis. <laughs> you see the problems before you say them. Listen, Star Wars. And we'll get through this one <laughs> fast. I'm rock hard. How'd you do that? <laughs> you are the droid I've been looking for. <laughs> no, you're, that's. No, not a droid. You are the droid I've been looking for. You're Jettis a piece of machinery. Jettis are tough nuts to crack. If you're crushing on a Star Wars nerd, you <laughs> may need Jettis? to use the Force to woo Jettis? them effectively. <laughs> Luckily, your midichlorian count is high in Europe for the challenge. Try one of these Yoda-approved pickup lines. Did you say Go your for it. Your count is high in Europe? G- try what? <laughs> Did you say your midichlorian c- count is high in Europe? And you're up for the challenge. Okay, okay thank <laughs> you. Me. That makes more sense. Yeah, try one you of these. Got, get me over there in Spain. See how you do. Where do they do metric? Because in metric, my midichlorian in metric, count. It's, I'm oh. off the charts. Uh, try one of these Yoda approved pickup lines. I'll approve your pickup. <laughs> get so, pull down some trim. You will. <laughs> <laughs> God real must be cocky shell. <laughs> some real cow puss, I can assure you. Get some strength. No. <laughs> there he is. No. I knew he'd be here. I did not. I man, shoot. We gotta uh, just. Uh, Wacky will get. Okay, turn it down. <laughs> 
Turn it Stop down. It. Clipping Yoda could make me laugh at something that I don't feel comfortable laughing yeah, at. Yeah, sure. I don't want to, that to Turn be him down. Get re- you, that's that's one of our two Clipping Yoda appearances for the rest of the year. So okay. uh, one of these is just, <laughs> I'll save this one. Want to take a spin on my Millennium Falcon? There's some people that if you said that to them, they'd be like, you've got like a, like some sort of hub, like a big wheel situation. Like a. Yeah. Some sort of hover craft situation. Um, let's get Hoth and Heavy. Okay. That's... If you said that to anyone, even the w- biggest Star Wars fan, they would say, sorry? I'd rather... Did you say Hot and Heavy? Did you say... <laughs> no, you heard Also, uh, and I understand what you're going there for and playing on words. Hoth, notably cold. It is an ice planet. Yeah. It, does, it doesn't work there. Because if you right. said that to me, I'd be like, now what about I'd let you climb in my Tauntaun any day? Right now, Justin, you Gross. may have been- they, Okay, the, okay, wait, th- we'll get this in post. Something, 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 and I thought they smelled bad on the outside. Yeah, some sort God of like almighty Jesus. Something, 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 like, something, something, I, something, something. I regret this. I regret this whole segment, except for this next bit that they have written down, which is truly, truly next level, which is simply. I find your lack of nudity disturbing. <laughs> Are you sure, okay. WikiHow? You sure that's, about that one? Now, that's all time. <laughs> now, I will say this. If this was, I've been in an established relationship with this person for a long time, and maybe things have grown <laughs> a little And we're stale. both huge Star Wars <laughs> we're nerds. huge Star Wars nerds, and maybe we've become too comfortable with one another. We spend a lot of time, uh, and, and you know, the, the heat's just not there anymore, and we're looking for ways to spice it up. Go, f- go fucking for it, man, because yeah. it's go risky, it. but if that pays off, go f- yeah. So bit, yeah, but as a stranger? No. <laughs> Maybe. No, here's what I was saying. It's such a called shot. Yes. There's one out of 100 people where you'd be There's like- There's one out of 56 million people. No way. There's seven people on the planet Earth now, who Justin, would hear that and go, that's pretty good, my man. I will also I'll, say this, Justin. Oh, yeah. There's also not just deploying it, gotta deploy it with confidence, but knowing the right time- Within this beginning of a, you couldn't say it first. I don't no. think you'd say it right away to start the interaction. No. So you also sh- couldn't say it. You can't say it. It's funny because actually it says here if you are in a social situation where you are flirting with someone, your brain actually will not allow you to. It's like when you put your fist down on the table, but you can't lift up your pinky. It's one of those. Okay. Like your brain simply won't let you say that. And that's good. That's an evolutionary success story. Can I do this one from fucking Lord of the Rings? Because there's a real good one in here, too. I did not see when I was vetting this article. Um, So, I mean, are you Smaug? Because you look like you have treasure in your cave. I don't think that's something that anyone really wants to hear about themselves. Yeah. But then this... Are you from Mordor? Because you're melting, my precious. Huh. Now, (laughs) huh. huh. It's so hot down there. Because of you, that well, it's melt, it has melted. If my precious it, are the emotional walls I've built around my heart, nope. that stop me from being open to it. But if you're saying you've <laughs> you've burned my penis away, <laughs> you've burned my penis away like chaff. Um, <clears throat> I think uh, now if they turn around to you and like one does not simply walk into Rebecca, <laughs> then <laughs> sure. <laughs> I think I'm gonna end the bit now. now. Now, here is a good denial. If somebody uses a Lord of the Rings pickup line on you and you would like to reject them, you respond, hey, how about you make like your photo and I'm legless and just go ahead and forget my name? Do you guys know this- about this theory? That Frodo doesn't know Legolas's name in no. the Lord of the Rings. If you, no. it's a great theory that like the only time Legolas ever talks to Frodo is when he says, "You have my bow." And at the end of the movie, when all the people are coming in and Frodo's in bed, he like mouths everyone's name except <laughs> Legolas's. Like Aragorn <laughs> comes in, he's like, you see him say like Aragorn, and then Legolas comes in and he just goes. <gasps> 
<laughs> it's so uncomfortable. The whole time he heard it, like when they were like forming the fellowship, and he was like, as he was walking off with his hobbit bros at the end of that, he was like, oh fuck, what was the elf <laughs> was it? shit? Did anyone hear the elf's name? He's it's so fu- pretty that when I saw him, he was like, hello, I'm and I just my brain didn't I, hear it's it. Not there, they man. were together long enough that I think it was like midway. Frodo started thinking like I didn't learn this elf's name, and then at this point it would be insane. So for me to wild ask. for me I to didn't, ask. I it. didn't think he'd be around this long. If I'm being honest, Boromir got that one. Boromir, that I one knew good. right away. Where's that guy? Oh right, all right. <laughs> Let's rather than you in the article, I think we could come up with our own, right? Like we could do our d- own. I don't. I ones think of these like, uh, boy, you, you make me feel like John Reese Davis and sliders because I want to climb in those holes. So this is what I was afraid of. Uh huh. Hubba hubba. Right. Um. That was good. Are you John Reese Davis in holes? In sorry, no sliders. Sliders. Holes is Shia LaBeouf, and that's not nerd nerd shit. I'm talking about John Reese Davies in Sliders. Yeah, Griffin, are you googling Sliders? Shia LaBeouf's Holes, dunk? notable jock fodder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Griffin, are you looking up a nerd joke that you could tell? Like, what? I'm just looking know, at nerd. We... Mo- I'm just looking at nerd movies. Are... You couldn't think of nerd movies. Well, Griffin's a known jock. Gr- ask Griffin about sports movies. He's got yeah. those. Hoosiers, pork balls, fucking Space Jam 2, fucking the whole kit and caboodle for the sure, whole man. kit and caboodle. Yeah, the whole, whole kit and caboodle. The whole Bend it like Beckham. Caboodle. That's a good one. Oh, don't get me started. The whole Bud franchise. The, all the Buds. Hoosiers. <laughs> Two, okay, I, two I don't know what you're doing, Griffin, but the wheels have fallen off your segment. Hoosiers. I'm taking the reins from you. Oh, no, Griffin's, Griffin's glitching out. Hoosiers. <laughs> my, bank has, my bank has been advertising a home ownership service to help folks buy and sell homes. I usually ignore them, but this time they've been offering a chance to win a flat top grill package with a $100 gift card to a very expensive butcher. Fuck yeah. I've been, I've been really wanting to get my dad a new grill. Brothers, I have no way of buying a house, let alone sell one. They are contacting me and trying to help me buy a house. How to explain to them I've only entered to maybe win the grill, and I have no interest in this service. Don't say that. Yeah, that's not a good one. Good thing to say. Well, now, um, now hold on. That's from uh, the poor hopeful MB. If you didn't win the grill and the meat, why not say that? Why not be like, now that that option is passed, right? That is gone. Yeah. You didn't win it. And they call, and they say, like, hey, we want to help you buy a home. And you say, oh, guess what? I only signed up for that to win the grill and the card, uh, which I didn't do. Right. And now if you do win the grill and the meat, you will need to buy a house. <laughs> no, you don't. Travis, no? you aren't misunderstanding. This is a real-time dilemma, okay? Yeah. This is a real-time dilemma. They're in The drawing has not yet concluded. Mm. They don't know if they've won, but they are getting realtors, you know, pounding on the walls, like buy a house, buy a house, or sell this one. Um, I've got it. Next call you get, you say, okay, great. Yeah, my budget is uh, about $750. Do you have anything for $750? Just set, like $750, um, move in ready. Um, yeah, so it's gotta be moving ready. It's gotta be moving ready. Furnished would be ideal because I don't have any of that. Um, and, but like $750 tops, and uh, I have a down payment of about 10 bucks, I could probably do. So, first of all, I'm gonna need to see. Uh, what the APR is on a seven hundred fifty dollar loan, um, yes. and I might be able to do eleven dollars. I think I have a dollar somewhere. I'm going to check my jeans. But this is um, a six thousand three hundred ten year mortgage. Is that normal? Is that standard? That seems like a lot. Uh, you just tell them, tell them the truth. Like, hey, I'm going to wait and see how this whole grill thing shakes out. Because mm-hmm. honestly, if I don't have a grill. I don't need a house. Oh! So if you now, if you want to talk to the grill, the candy man over there with the grill, grill giveaware guy. If you guys got a few grills, you want to slide this way. Maybe we'll talk. Maybe I'll start to need one. Get a, get enough grills going. You're gonna need a home to put them in. But uh, yeah, if I don't win the grill, I don't need a house. And then so. once you get the, if you get the grill, you're like, well, I was gonna sell you my house. Damn thing burned it all up. 
Um, this, so my, D, this GD grill burned my whole shit down. So it, now I got no house to sell to I you, I got no Tracy. house to sell, and I kept all my money in bill form inside the house. It's gone too, man. What, insurance? Yeah. I wish. There's a ton. If you win, this is a, the number of avenues now open to you for deceit are, are simply tremendous. Yeah. You could say, like, listen, I was going to sell you my house, but with this GD grill... I've made so many precious backyard memories with my family. Yeah. The thought of leaving this home is is it just seems wrong. So I'm so I am so sorry. I, I was gonna buy a house, but then I grilled so good that Bobby Flay showed up and said, "Come live with me and be my son. I'll train you. Yeah, now, I want to fight you every day. I'll Bobby fight Flay you every day to make you stuff." <laughs> To beat Bobby, he wants to do his own beat Bobby Flay's, and I battle him every day for my free. Welcome and to my new show, Beat Bob Bobby Flay. <laughs> Come hang out with me. I'll teach you to scat and grill. <laughs> I want to watch uh, Beat Bob and Bobby Flay so bad now. I, yeah, it's the ZocDoc.com <laughs> of cooking <laughs> shows. <laughs> Thank you for listening to our podcast. What about a show Bobby called Flay Bobby Flay? And you got to find him. <laughs> Bob Bobby Flay <laughs> is when you sink him in a river and we fish with him. Listen, okay. we got to find out if he's a witch or not. And I only know two ways to do that. I Bob him watch, and Flay him. I want to watch Flay Bobby Flay Bobby, which is a British police officer trying to get to the bottom of Bobby Flay's flaying. <laughs> <laughs> Beats me. What's that, Bobby? <laughs> you solved it. <laughs> Thank you for listening to our podcast. It's called My Brother, My Brother, Me. Uh, I I hope you've enjoyed yourself. I felt a little silly, um, and I hope it wasn't too silly. I guess that's oh, kind okay. of a silly thing. Yeah, just that one felt kind of silly. I just want to make sure it wasn't too silly. Um, um, just letting you know, uh, starting June 1st, we'll have new merch over there, which we'll talk about on the next episode. But if you are someone who's like, ooh, new merch, guy, check that out. Starting June 1st, McElroyMerch.com. Also want to let you know, Griffin and I, are going to be at AwesomeCon in Washington, D.C., uh, June 16th through the 18th. Got some panels and uh, Q&As and photos and stuff like that. You can get passes at bit.ly slash awesomecon Uh Also, I'm going to be at Gen Con August 3rd through 6th. Uh, you can get details on badges, tickets, and appearances at bit.ly slash Tours. Yeah. Um, thank you to Montaigne. For the uh, use of our theme song, My Life is Better With You, when it comes on, I feel I feel something stirring in my bones. Ooh, it's that's the spirit of, spirit of dance. Montaigne, by the way, uh, they provided some uh, background vocals for James E. Caster's new Party Gator album. Yeah. And just saying that those words together in sequence... Makes me happy on the inside. They're very good words. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Travis, do you have anything you want to close out with? I do. Uh, I got a quote here from, you're never going to believe it, Jack Johnson. And uh, I just by reading, uh, reading it in different tones, I don't know which tone to go with here. You better hope you're not alone. Jack Johnson. You better hope you're not alone. You better hope you're not alone. I think depending on which Jack Johnson wrote yeah, it depends it's the, on the, what the intention. The is. Yeah. My name is Justin McElroy. I'm I'm always with someone, Jack Johnson. Please don't. <laughs> I'm Travis Please don't. McElroy. I'm Griffin McElroy. This has been my brother, my brother, me. Kiss your dad. Square on the lips. MaximumFun.org. Comedy and culture. Artist owned. Audience supported.